Thanks, Your Majesty. Aye, aye. Oh, shoot, it's the dragon. <gasps> I thought I let Quick, you go, bro. <gasps> no time to explain. Wait. I can hide people in my cave? Wait a minute, what? Uh, well, if that was the case, why didn't I just hide her in the beginning? Hmm. Hmm, he, he's waiting for me. Unless it's just a, something in front of a lamp. Oh no, he's definitely there. Oh, he's definitely there. <gasps> oh no, it's a baby! Nightmares come in many forms. Once you realize what you are actually afraid of, you can start to. I just put him in my cave! <laughs> Morgan LaFlay, I just put a freaking dragon in my cave! Is she like a kangaroo in there? <sighs> Just in my head. It's not gonna work. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, man. I figured after that scream, you'd be back. Let's pick up our story once again. I did steal a freaking dragon. I wasn't actually afraid of dragons. I was still struggling with the loss of a chakra. Now, my decisions meant the life or death of a kingdom. That's the true beast I needed to rescue. Wait, why are they beating up the Goblin King? That makes no sense. Oh, that guy's got my hat. Oh. I have a dragon baby, and I have Bramble in my coat. Well, that makes sense. Completely no sense. It makes completely no sense. Oh, it's a projector. There we go. Oh. Uh oh. Raga. This makes completely no sense. <laughs> crown to be a great king. My old hat suited me just fine, and Daventry was ready for a new adventure. Oh, are we going to give the the king, the goblin king, a crown? What's this? It's a pipe by Manny. Once in a town just like the one you're imagining, there was a beautiful castle that stood high on a hill. All were welcome here. Well, everyone except for the pests. The townspeople cried out to their king, we must be rid of these rats. They're scaring our children. And stealing our cheese. One even ate a baby. The town had become very unpleasant indeed. Every morning, gold coins clanged through the water well, carrying wishes for a better town. But the rats remained. The king, in his finite wisdom, had also been casting wishes, for he desperately needed a plan. As wishes would have it, a wandering piper appeared at the castle gates. Piper? 
the Piper offered to expel the rats from the kingdom if the town was like the Pied Piper. Their moronic. You got all British dentistry, I see. Here, here, they cried out. Our throne is but a seat for a hat rack. Rid us of these pests, and the throne is where you'll rest. The stranger pulled out a small flute and played a pleasing melody. The music summoned the rats out of hiding, and they danced on the head of the king. Nice. The king shrieked a high-pitched squeal. But the piper continued his song. Looks the like he's flipping us off. Led back to the wooded forest where they belong. Yeah, I'm gonna play this fucking piccolo, bitch. <laughs> the piper returned to the castle to claim his reward, but his knock echoed throughout the halls, and no one let him in. Uh oh. He raised his pipe, and a new melody was played. He watched the drawbridge lower, and a mesmerized kingdom pranced to his side. What's gonna happen? With a few simple notes and a turn on the heel, the stranger led them from the castle to the deep, dark caverns below. The throne this has is not, not a good ending. Empty. And the well doesn't clang anymore. Pretty grim, man. He knew exactly what to write to incite the horde. He chose every word carefully, fully knowing how the goblins would react to his story. Oh, it was brilliant. They did all the dirty work, and he just sat back and watched. I thought I had bested him in the duel of wits, but the mind and games were just beginning. <laughs> I didn't I wasn't in band camp, Dave. <laughs> nope. Okay. It might be time to go back. Oh, wait a minute. 1001 goblin pranks. The baby swap. What? Oh, there's another. Wait, there's another book. The baby swap? Okay. He didn't know that there was a Do goblin prank. Nightmares ever come true? Of course, but real monsters are far easier to deal with than imaginary ones. What do we got? Oh, Ugh. goblins ruin everything. Are they just dying? Or are they um? Can I get you uh, out of there? Ugh. Goblins ruin everything. I mean, they're still breathing. Maybe I could save them. Well, that's the Goblin King. Distress! Help us, King! Enough! They're only stories. Can't you just enjoy them for what they are? You've missed the point entirely. Is this how you want your story to be remembered? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, um, how about a new story? Hmm. He's reading the three little uh, pigs. Once upon a time, there lived, uh... Um, uh, uh, let me see what I got here. On a time there lived a... Oh, the little dragon baby's gone. What did I do to him? There lived...
lived a sweet little goblin who loved adventures. <laughs> As expected. Ah, <laughs> he's, he's got like a pig snout on. Even in his young age, stories of the goblin's quests had spread around the land. Like the time he. bear hugged a basilisk. Mm, no, that wasn't the right one. No, that can't be right. Wait a minute here. Outsmarted physical griffin. In fact, his adventures were so legendary, the goblins decided to make him king. But the goblin adventurer was out of his element and overwhelmed with the work it took to run a successful kingdom. His friends offered their... Strength. <laughs> Let me try that again. Wisdom. Wisdom. He's <laughs> They're Let me try that again. Is this a love story? Heart. Oh my, it is. <laughs> But it wasn't enough. He was afraid he would never live up to the king who came before. It got so bad that the goblin gave up. But when packing up his things to run away from the castle, the goblin found... Uh, he that rat has found, a butthole. <laughs> he found... What? He found a uh, hat? Wait, why can't we give him a crown? His old adventurer cap. Dude, and that rat has rabies, though. That he wasn't just here to continue the previous legacy. He was here to create his own. One filled with... Oh. Pray for your heart. Compassion. And the best group of friends you could ever ask for. Ooh. It is a good sign. I shall call you King Nibbletooth the Third. That is a huge ass rat, though. <laughs> Grandpa's gotta hear about this. Told you he'd save us. No, I told you he'd save us. Well, I think it was me, actually. You know, I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> Look at all the shoes. <laughs> guys gonna be okay? All right, Mr. Fancy Cakes. A oh, Marachi. so I saved them anyway. And that's my story. Some of the details might have changed over the years. And I certainly left out some parts I wasn't fond of. I found it's best to enjoy stories for what they are, and not for what you hoped they would be. Ah, you've fallen asleep again, and I think it's time I do the same. <laughs> I could have just let everybody go, I guess. Wait, is this not a goblin? The baby swap? This is not a goblin. Who 
are you, buddy? Oh, wait, is that their son? The sorcerer's son? You look like you could use a friend. Oh, no. That was Manny. Manny's... He's gonna be our arch nemesis. That son of a gun. Oh, so this shows the pages that we got. Uh, we got the heart, the sword, but we didn't get the wisdom. The compa- what is it? Compassion, strength, and wisdom. She was locked up, he was locked up, those two were in the bed. And we got all the coins, though. Hmm. That was pretty cool. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men! Okay, well, that was chapter two. Yeah, rubble without a cause. Chapter three, once upon a climb. Hmm. Oh, that one was pretty good. That one was definitely shorter. I think that one was like two hours shorter. Hey, more